hope you guys are having a lovely summer morning. This week around here, we have really big plans, and that is to take a summer trip across the pond. Now, before we head out, we did have one day of the week at home, and I love doing that so that we can use it to fully prepare. I just find that it's impractical to pack much more than a day before, so I took the day to eat healthy foods because that seems to be hard to do during travel days, so I always like to have nice, well-cooked, healthy meals the day before and do some laundry and do some packing. Before I move on, the last time I showed my getting ready routine, I had so many questions about what I was putting on my hair. I use arrowroot powder instead of dry shampoo. It works really well. It's cleaner and I'm less likely to run out because I always have arrowroot powder in my pantry. So I just get a big brush from the grocery store and keep it in a little mason jar. And that is what I do instead of dry shampoo. Traveling is something that is important to our little family. We love to experience other cultures and see history in buildings and architecture styles. Those are things that are really, really cool to us. But as I record this voiceover now home from the trip and watch this footage, I am just reminded of how sweet and lovely our lives are right here at home. We love being home and especially after the trip is over and you've done the travel days, our humble little home is just such a sight for sore eyes. And we loved our trip and I'm so excited to show it to you guys. But man, if we also don't love our sweet little lives right here at home. There was a season in my life where I traveled so much. It was before I was married, but after high school, I went on trips constantly. And I am so thankful that that season happened. I got to see so many cool places, experience so many cultures, and eat some really, really good food in a time where it made perfect sense for the season of life, the budget, everything, because I was only paying for one person. And now as I reflect on that time of my life, because it feels so long ago, as we were taking the flight, I thought to myself, I don't even know how to do this anymore. Like I used to go, I traveled a lot on long flights all the time. And now it felt so much worse than then. I don't know why. But as I reflected on that time period and comparing it to now, I'm so grateful that it happened, but I'm also incredibly grateful now that I have such a comfortable, sweet life right here at home that hardly feels like we need a vacation from it. It's such a blessing to be able to feel that way and also experience other cultures as well. I guess this video just has me feeling particularly grateful for the past seasons and the current season of life. Once we got all things packed up, it was time to head on out to Europe.
This year, I have made it a goal to be a much more conscious consumer, which is why I am so excited to introduce Blueland as the sponsor of this video. Blueland's products are people and planet friendly, meaning they are not harmful to your health, which is a huge win for me, and they're not harmful to the planet either. They don't use any single-use plastics throughout the whole thing. They don't ship them in single-use plastics. They don't have any at all, which I absolutely love. And something I am so excited about is that Blueland is launching the first of its kind fragranced laundry detergent. After two years of research and development, Blueland has finally come up with a tablet that is plastic free, just like they're committed to, and that we have been requesting for years. Blueland laundry tablets are proven to lift the toughest stains from grass stains to food stains, and the spring bloom smells so good, like the perfect mix of wildflowers and citrus. I love it. I personally love the convenience of laundry detergent tablets, and I love that you can get a powerful detergent, an amazing scent, all within a really easy way to get a load of laundry started, which I very much appreciate as a mom of a toddler. If you want to try Blueland, all you have to do is click the link in my description to get 15% off of your first kit. Thanks again to Blueland for sponsoring today's video. This trip is one that me and my husband have been talking about for years. We dreamed of coming to Austria. Even while we were dating, we talked about how beautiful we thought Austria would be. So to finally see this trip happen was such a blessing and honestly so fun. We spent one day in Vienna before heading out to the countryside of Austria. We were going to make two stops in the more rural areas of Austria. One is in a town called Spittal. I don't think I'm saying that right. It's a little ski town that we just found absolutely so charming. We stayed in the most charming hotel that used to be a monastery with just an incredible view. This was definitely one of my husband's favorite parts of the trip because he loves looking at old buildings and there was just a beautiful church and he loved just imagining what it would have been like to be at that monastery. One of the things that both my husband and I enjoy on trips is seeing historic architecture, like I already mentioned, and seeing gardens and how things are farmed. Those things are very, very interesting to us. And one of the most incredible things about Austria was that there are historic churches everywhere. And this one in particular, I can't remember the name. It was in a small town, which was just mind blowing that there were just beautiful historic churches in small towns. Also had this beautiful garden that you were able to walk around. This was so inspiring to me. I told my husband, I need books on garden design. I want to learn more about this and I want to try and bring some of that back home because that was just so inspiring to me. When it was time to leave the small ski town, my husband and I took one more walk around the church that was at our hotel and then we 
headed out to Hallstatt, Austria. As you can tell, the drive was absolutely stunning. There were mountains and beautiful homes. This was a view driving into Hallstatt. It was just such an incredible, peaceful drive. Hallstatt in and of itself is a town that you don't drive in. You just park your car on the outside of town and walk, which created such a lovely, peaceful place. As you can tell from these video clips, Hallstatt doesn't even feel like, you don't even feel like you're in a real place with the church on the lake and the mountains and the beautiful homes and flowers everywhere. It just didn't even feel real. One of my favorite parts of the whole trip was seeing all the window boxes and landscaping that seemed to be so typical and more or less standard in Austria. I love the way window boxes look. I find them so charming. And I just loved how they were overflowing on every single home in basically the whole country, it felt like. I joked that homes come with window boxes in the blueprints. So that was so inspiring to me. We had the most lovely time moving slowly, taking in all the sights, seeing a new culture in a new place, all of the beautiful flowers and the mountains. The weather was phenomenal. We ate gelato twice a day, every day that we were in Hallstatt, and just had such a lovely time enjoying a peaceful vacation. This trip left me feeling inspired to enjoy our lovely landscaping here at home, come home and sew, and just really savor our sweet times right here at home. As always, I hope this video was inspiring to you, and I'll see you guys next week.